Anyway, as you can see, I am scaring all these kids up. And also the Christ psychologists that believe in resurrecting zombies. <laughs> yes, yes, it's very true. These people suffer from a mental illness. Uh, very true, very true. And I am the Antichrist psychosis. <laughs> See? Very true. So happy Halloween. This is for my mentally healthy, also known as atheist, friends in YouTube. This is Lucius Calpurnius Piso Sesoninus. Calpurn Piso. Uh, hey. Uh, I want to I want to uh, educate you where where this Christ psychosis come from. <laughs> it were the English Christ psychotic that sent us all these nuts in the Mayflower, and uh, they started the Pilgrims' appearance, all the Protestants, and with the zombie Jesus and all this nonsense, and it, the whole sex multiplied into all different psychoses of Christianity, and uh, now we. We have to be very careful with the nuts, all the Christ psychotic nuts. 75% of people in the United States are Christ psychotic. So, so from this, this uh, HIV uh, AIDS type of illness are lays dormant. It's like Christians are like HIV positive people. They look normal and all that, but you have no idea at any time it can just blow up. Like Koresh, uh, like Joe's Heaven's Gate, uh, Doe of Heaven's Gate, um, and then you have uh, Jim Jones and you have um, also, Andrea Yates, that drowned her five children, and she's free. And uh, you see, so it's, uh, this is blows up. All of a sudden, you, you can go to church, and you be nice, and all that, and you're pious, and you really be well behave, and you believe in Jesus Christ, and all this, and nice, and, and you go and kneel down. But all of a sudden, you're saying that, oh, that guy in Halloween mask, oh, he's actually, he's actually the devil. And I, um, my brother gave me a, a shotgun. I think I want to use it, because it's, I'm going to be doing Christ a favor and, and, and kill this person. So you have to be very careful, especially in Halloween, because all this uh, developing the full-blown Christ psychosis uh, is a very dangerous illness. Uh, Christianity, believing in resurrecting zombies that saved with blood. And the Slavs were living flying prophets uh, that are giving a tour of heaven by an angel. And then the Mormons, you know, of course, the golden plates and the rest of it. So religious beliefs are a mental illness. So be very careful with that. It's an illness that nobody seems to see. Remember, we create everything with the brain, so keep it healthy. So here is some history for you guys. Enjoy it. In the century, the well-ordered Christian world changed dramatically. Yeah, but it's still not enough. We're trying to Christianity split into two camps. Yep. Catholic and Protestant. Yeah, thanks to Luther. Then things are kind of this schism different. is referred to as the Protestant Reformation. Yeah. It began in 1517 and would last for another 150 years. Yeah, killing everybody. One of the main points of difference was that the Protestants rejected the concept of confession. Yep. But they kept a deep and abiding interest in the sin of lust. Of course, it's important to them, the demons. Sin of lust. Lust. Well, in those days, you know, 16th, uh, 17th century, uh, Christ psychotics had no idea no idea of evolutionary biology or science. If they got horny, they get erect, it was the devil doing it. The way they have sex, the devil was doing this, this desire, the sexual desires. So they, they whip themselves, flagellate themselves. If others did it, since they were psychotic, believing in resurrecting zombies, they punish people and they... Uh, they burn witches and they burn everybody had the desire. They had no idea there was a natural uh, product of, of uh, uh, being a human. It evolved into the primates. Because these people believe in resurrecting zombies, as say, with blood. They are psychopath. And this belief is still today with us, which is a psychosis. In, uh, you know, it's 300, 400 years ago, okay, because they didn't have the knowledge. And they were very uh, retarded or uh, theotarded and uh, ignorant of science and infected with this psychosis aesthetic, the intellect, meeting stuck in the Middle Ages. This is the reason today in the 21st century, the religious people are theotarded. They're stuck in the Middle Ages. They're stuck in the past with all the traditions. Look at the Pope. 
Look at the Hindu ceremonies. Look at the uh, the uh, religious. Also, re re they're stuck in the past. They were they believing all this nonsense that they're stuck. They're completely theotarded. Something's wrong with their brains uh, because they don't. The anti science, and they they don't understand it. They don't understand that we are evolved mutated primates. We are product of evolu evolution, and we are composed of atoms, DNA, and all that. And they had no idea how that came about. So to them, a sexual desire, which is natural in all human beings, rewarded by orgasm. You know, uh, they uh, thought us a sin. See how psychotic, stupid, and ignorant, and mentally ill these people are. Anybody that believes in God is mentally ill. It's a psychopathy, and it's very dangerous because it causes intolerance, pedophilia, immorality, crazy thinking, stagnates the intellect, make people a stupid and ignorant and devious psychopath, genocidal psychopath. Oh boy. So I'm screwing everybody During this up. period, one sect of Protestants, called the Puritans, fled the sinful European continent to seek religious freedom in the New World. Yeah, because they didn't like the Luther Bible. The Puritans were so Geneva. made because okay, of their pious beliefs and their central goal of they creating the, the more pure form of worship. Yeah, they liked the Geneva Bible, and they left they intended uh, to create a gay King in North James America, England, where sin would not be tolerated. That's right. So they took the Geneva Bible the with them. The Puritans landed at Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620. They formed a colony where the sin of lust was central to their theology See? and their legal code. See the retards? In Plymouth, committing the sin of lust carried dire penalties. Look at that, you're going to be beat off. Women caught committing adultery were condemned to wear the letter A for the rest of their lives. Look at that. The interesting thing is that the letter A can also stand for atheist, which is, encompasses, according to the Christ psychotics, all evil things, perversion, psychosis, everything is atheism. Letter A. Puritans caught in any sexual activities outside of marriage could face whipping, public shaming in the stocks, and in the case of sodomy or bestiality. Why? they would face death. Don't beat off! Well, By the way, uh, religious beliefs of believing God created in the brain was triggered over 40,000 years ago with the evolution of our brains by the ingestion of entheogenic psychotropic substances. This is a fact, epigraphy. Uh, uh, if you have one of these, for instance, this growing my tree is a desert willow. These are not highly hallucinogenic, but other materials are. Other flowers like Datura, and then you have Amanita muscaria, you have Peganum harmala, I mean, etc., etc., etc. You have uh, lots of them that triggers the brain. Uh, scopolamine, you have uh, Tropa belladonna, that 30,000 uh, years ago, the cave, the cave painters used that annoyingly, and it delayed the pupils and make them see gods and spirits, and they were the ones drawing all this stuff in the caves. All over the world, not only in France, uh, like, uh, like in Spain, or like in Altamira, Chevaux Caves, and all that. No, all over the world, you have these pictures and these pictographs. And inside of caves, 30,000 years ago. Well, not this type, but the Tropa Belladonna berries. So you know what religions come from. So believing, uh, believing God today, and you're educated, is a mental disorder. It's not, it's no different than schizophrenia. Uh, temporal lobe epilepsy or cognitive dissonance and uh, red syndrome and uh, all these different things that occur in the brain and make you see God. So matter of fact, you pick one of these and you'll see them. Well, not this particular. This is a medicine. This is good for the stomach. Like the Native uh, Americans here in the in the Southwest use all kind of roots and medicines. In peyotl for the religious ceremonies. This was used for uh, for uh, for nausea and for uh, stomach problems. This is excellent medicine. So here it is. The story goes that he went out walking in the mountains of eastern Tennessee, ruminating over the meaning of those disturbing verses in the Book of Mark. Christ psychosis. And he was struggling and, 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 and prayerfully meditating when suddenly there a rattlesnake appeared, and a, a fortuitous event, and Hensley yep. picked it up. He was eating the tuna flowers. That's what happened. Hallucinating. He handled it just exactly like the text said. And you know that's interesting. If you're in the woods. You know, people are very, you know, Bible believers and summit believers and all that. So I had no idea uh, where anything comes from. And, uh, of course, uh, sin is sexful, sex, uh, uh, 
uh, sex is sinful and all that. But nevertheless, they're working on the roots and they take some mushrooms and all that. And all of a sudden, they see devils and they all of a sudden they get horny because some certain substances make you horny. And, uh, and then you might confuse your penis with a snake. You see, and all of a sudden you see you dream and all that stuff and you ejaculate and oh, but you see this, you know, this snake coming down and it's actually in a cross and like Christ and all that. So, you know, then you start waking up and then you see a snake and you touch it and for some reason, uh, you know, you hold it and you, you relate the orgasm, the orgasm that you felt that was divine, you know, with the snake and your penis, which is very similar to a snake, is the same idea type of concept from antiquity, then therefore you start adoring a snake as a sacred thing and as a Christian Christ and all this stuff and you, you know, holding it and doing all this stuff and that's the way you, 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 channel, uh, you sublime your, your sexual desire, your libido into this thing. It's just like people that, uh, uh, that you believe in, in Jesus so much and the nuns and all that stuff, they might take a, a, you know, a crucifix that is very smooth or something like that and and uh, start masturbating, uh, stimulating the clitoris and all that stuff and thinking of Jesus. So Jesus is actually, you know, having sex with them, but blessing them with orgasm. And this happened, you know, at, I mean, the Renaissance and a long time ago, you know, uh, Hildegard von Bingen, for instance, in the 1100s. And I have all the documents and all that. So these people were, you know, crazy, horny nuns and all that. And they did that, but it was the sublime into the Christian thing. So the same happened to the snake handlers. Uh, is they substitute the... Uh, the, uh, their, the penis for the snake because it separates the sin of the snake that they consider, uh, I mean, of the penis that they consider dirty and all that, and all pornographic and bad, 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 into the snake, which is clean, it's a, it's a product of God, but it's very dangerous because it can, it can kill you. So they equate that, and that's the way they, the people are nuts. They are, you know, Christ psychotics. It comes in different forms. What's interesting is that um, the sublimation, like the snake and the penis fetish and all that, um, is all the mind tries to make sense of things and tries to think that things are bad or evil or sinful. Uh, they are equated with things that are innocent and nice and acceptable in their brains. Uh, it's just like a fetish uh, also, like a person that uh, that is uh, sexually repressed and uh, uh, like in, in the um, in the 18... 90s or so, you know, the ladies, the way they dress, you Victorian age and all that, you, you know, you get turned on by seeing a, a lady's uncle because they were all covered up, uh, thanks to Christ's psychosis. And the same thing like a fetish, you know, a, a guy that, that enjoys, um, that for instance, when there was a kid, you know, a, a, the guy with the, the kid was masturbating or some of the p parents finding, oh, you're a sinful and all that, they take the spanking with a, with a, uh, with a, with a brush. And hit him with the brush, and then, of course, later on when the kid grows up, you know this this brush is it, it relates, you know, to the um, to the sexual act of masturbating, this forbidden act, and he it reacts and triggers, so he needs to spank himself, flagellates himself for that, and this is what happened in the church when they flagellate themselves, you know, because they got turned on or something like that. They, oh, had to, the flesh had to be punished. The sadomasochism invented by Christianity. And it happens also in Islam and all these people, you know, blood sacrifice. These people are sick, are having a problem with the brain. Anybody that believes in God is, a, is a, you know, it has a problem. So anyway, uh, this snake and penis and all the fetishism, uh, it's like, you know, a guy that gets thrown up by seeing women's uh, uh, underwear, uh, women's shoes, things like that. These people are, all this happens because of Christ's psychosis. You don't see natives of the Amazons and natural people that are in nature that have the uh, running around naked. You don't see nothing of it. You don't see pedophilia there. You don't see problems like that at all. They're natural. You only see pedophilia. This problem is, is uh, algolagnia and uh, sadomasochism and these sexual problems in people that are born or people that are religious. All these religious, uh, Christ psychotics, religious psychotics are the People that have these problems, these mental problems with sex and with anything that is natural. So that's the religion. It's, a, it's just like a, it's a psychosis and uh, it's a relation. So you, you relate the snake with the, with the penis. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the penis is dirty and bad and all that, but the snake is okay and you handle it and you just like handling a penis, it turns you on. <laughs> uh, wife beating, 
all this stuff like that happens, you know, when you uh, molest children and kill them, when you are, you're uh, enjoying yourself and all. It doesn't happen. In, you never see people, in Aborigines and people in nature, you know, molesting children just to get sexual gratification, just killing them and all that, you get thrown out with the blood. No, it only happens in Christianity, in religious psychosis. It only happens there. You don't see that in nature. So these people are sick. People that believe in God are sick people. We shouldn't allow it to be in government. These people should be in a mental institution and, and the stupid atheist, they are clueless. You know, these people are brilliant but clueless. They out of define religious beliefs as a form of mental illness, a psychopathy. And this is number one. When you expose religious beliefs as a neurological disorder, then, then it will be okay. Then things will be better. People died in Jonestown that day. That deserve a lot you know, all more Christians. than they Christ have. Christians, psychotic. That's what happens. There should have been in mental, mental institutions be being held. Crazy brain. A mad man. Not a madman, a Christian. Christian. No, we understand it's Christianity, just like the Pope. He just lays dormant. When it becomes full blown, this is what happened. Christ psychosis. For a rise, some and even more bizarre and terrible. There are no cults, they're religions. Imbecile, they Christian. Cults all over the world no. became obsessed Christians. with the idea that the year Religion, Christianity. That's what it is. It, the Christianity believes in the apocalypse, you imbecile. Extraordinary disappointment. Christians, when you say cult, it's so Christian. Pervasive. So religion is a conglomeration of cults of the same same God or Apomi, a personification of mental illness. The dramatic intervention of God or a superhuman being. Yeah, psychosis. I've actually been killed tonight. But this time in Washington State, bears striking similarities to the Lydia Schatz case. Here's Gary. The daughter they adopted from Ethiopia is dead. Christ, I got it. Allegations are true. Some say they are the parents from hell. Exactly. Did you love this child? The Christian. They're psychotic. Can you just answer that question? Psychotic. What do you expect? This did Hannah die in the name of God? Tony Washington. According to a sheriff's office affidavit, the mother told investigators she found 13-year-old Hannah face down outside the house with... But there is so very much she left out. The day Here is what the affidavit says. Hannah had a large lump on her head and several fresh red bloody markings on her hips, knees, elbows, and face. Ten-year-old was abnormally thin. On the forehead was a hematoma, swollen bruise. There were abrasions on Christian the Christian for you. Pelvis Christianity. Area. There were patterns investigating whether those beatings came because of biblical teachings. Of course. The other child investigators, Hannah was often left outside in the cold as discipline because she was rebellious. Children from infant on up. The authors of a book say the writings are guided by the teachings in the Bible. It says they're now in prison after pleading guilty to killing their daughter, Lydia, also adopted from Africa, taken from train up a child. Mike Ramsey is the DA who prosecuted the Shatzes. I say I cannot get quiet, write, do something about it, take action out of this, so to let the world know that sometimes what's in the background of it, sometimes it's not true are Christians. They are fighting the Muslims' Lord's um, resistance army objectives. Christ a cutting. And stop the oppression of our people. Now, this, fat, now, fat is, pig is addicted to oxycotton. Look at this liar. This hypocrite. Nations wipe out, wipe out Christians. Oh. See, and all these uh, Christ psychotics follow the teachings of, of a compilation of myth and uh, immoral and perverted Psychopathies. They are sadomasochistic because they come from a zombie named Jesus Christ that say with blood. So blood is sacred for them, but they want to be punished. So it, these people are completely, completely uh, deluded and schizophrenic. They have a mental problem. And all these Christians do that. Some is dormant, sometimes it blows up. Sometimes a person is very pious and all that, but okay, you never know. It's like HIV. Uh, uh, AIDS, uh, pos uh, HIV positive, you know, they're walking around like time bombs with this disorder, all of a sudden they're going to kill them because they, they can become full-blown. All Christians, people that believe in God, they all have the same problem. They're time bombs. And uh, unfortunately, 75% of Americans are infected with Christ psychosis. But in this case, in the Bible, you know, you, you see that cr Christians, you know, the people infected with Christ psychosis are uh, sadomasochistic. They are racist, all of them. 
you know, God uh, blacks are bad. They're burned by God. The Mormons, you know, the Christ psychotic Mormons believe that too. They're inferior. The uh, natives uh, are inferior. They must be. They must be converted to Christianity. They must, you know, to, so they can be okay and be saved. The Jews, oh boy, they're crest killers, and they'll be converted or kill them or gas them like Christian Hitler did. So six million of them. And uh, and uh, see, so this, these parents adopt these children. They are Christ psychotic imbeciles. They are not that belong in a mental institution or in jail. All these all these Christian parents belong in jail. I'm going to say, all of them. They are pedophiles. They adopt children and they usually use them for sexual gratification in many cases. And not, not that many people know that. Or they keep them, if they're black, they bring them around for servants. And they're, they're, they're going to be considered inferior to the white children that they adopt. So they adopt the black ones. And they treat them really bad and the you know, poor kids are, are, are devastated because of their skin color. And they are no different than anybody else. They can be green, yellow, purple, or whatever. In the Roman Empire, the you know, color of the skin was irrelevant in ancient empire. Zero. Only Christianity, again, Christianity makes a difference. And they consider these people inferior. They must be enslaved. So, I mean, history proves it. If you study uh, the rape of the Americans and all that, you know, Christians are uh, sadomasochistic, uh, christ psychotic, infected imbeciles that belong in mental institutions. There's no reason to believe in God in the 21st century. If you believe in God, you're a theotard, you have a problem with your brain, and you must be uh, uh, help. You know, you should go to a, a neurologist to save you because it's a disgusting disease. And this is what gets me upset with the scholars and, and uh, scientists like Dawkins and all the atheists and all that, that they, uh, they are clueless about it. And then they don't define, they're too stupid, they're clueless, and they're chicken, they're cowards, and they don't tell like it is. They don't sit around and tell the Christians when they're having a big conventions and say, hey, you know, I'm a mentally healthy. I'm an atheist. That's what mentally healthy means. Unlike you, I don't accept uh, resurrecting zombies or demons and all that as reality. And you do have a problem because you, you reason like uh, people that are, uh, suffer from uh, cognitive dissonance, temporal lobe epilepsy, or, or uh, uh, schizophrenia, schizotypy. Why can't Harris, Hitchens, and all these people that are, they are intellectuals don't say this? Why they don't say it? This is what pisses me off. What's wrong with And then they, they complain that they've been discriminated. And, uh, you know, you cannot, you cannot convince a schizophrenic, an intellectual schizophrenic, that their imaginary friends do not exist. It's a delusion created by the brain. You cannot. So Dawkins can talk to Francis Collins and all this uh, crisis that causes infected imbeciles, you know, uh, educated people, and you can talk to them for 10 hours. <laughs> you are wasting your time, Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris, and you. you cannot talk to these people. You know, they have a problem with the brain and you don't seem to understand it. This is a problem. This is the reason I'm, I'm, I'm making a lot of these videos uh, telling it like it is and, you know, warning people up that the people that believe in, in Christ and all this nonsense are having a problem with the brain. So all the churches and all that are molesting children. They're molesting their brain. They're perverted. They're corrupt. And they're the cause of all this psychopathy and sadomasochism and all these problems in the United States today. All of it. They're deranged people. Christ psychotics. It was a revelation. Man enacting God's will on earth. Christ psychosis. Fundamental traditions with the United States, that man's laws Christianity are fine, infected but they never can countries. Christ psychotic. You have them in government. You have these idiots in government. It's the schizophrenic. With the law came to a head in 1961, and Westford's sister was bitten during a service and died. Again. A state cult is based on Christianity. Outlaw snake handling. And look at what happened October 17, uh, 2011. You know, uh, before uh, all these Halloween uh, festivities. This is a very, very, very much proof of Christ psychosis. Uh, religious beliefs are a neurological disorder, a mental illness. Hey, atheist! Let me give you an advice. Christians believe in a resurrecting zombie. They take every fairy tale real. 
because they suffer from Christ psychosis. All religious people suffer from a mental disorder, not unlike schizophrenia, where bizarre metamagical beliefs of imaginary friends are accepted as real. So be aware of this Halloween, because Christians believe in Matthews 27, 53, 54, night of the living ancient death. <laughs> it's in the Bible, so it's real. So all this zombie thing, you know, directed by zombie Jesus, is going to be accepted as reality. So Halloween, be very careful, because atheists can be shot. If you wear a costume that, uh, you know, these people believe that you're really a ghost, that you're really zombie, or you have the devil, or you're a person of a devil, you can be shot and killed. So be very careful. You know, you remember, you're in a Christ psychosis infected country. These people are really dangerous. They suffer from Christ psychosis. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, a schizophrenic, paranoid schizophrenics uh, seen as normal people. And these are the religious. So, uh, if a guy in a zombie uh, Muhammad outfit was, uh, was attacked and they don't attack, you know, don't be surprised because these are Christ psychotics for you. They're very dangerous people, if especially if they have full blown Christ psychosis. When all of a sudden their beliefs are really explode on them and they believe that the whole thing is true and then they will attack you, especially if you're wearing a costume. I am the anti Christ psychosis. I will expose God belief created in the brain as a mental illness, a mental disorder that can make us extinct. Bizarre beliefs of God created by the brain found in all neurological disorders and also in Christianity is a form of mental illness.